And the fact that he isn't cooperating, the fact that he, that he is his own man with his own point of view, sends guys like John Oliver into a rage. The, 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 the amount of undisguised contempt that they have for this guy. I mean, starting with the fact he's calling Clarence Thomas by his first name, you know, not using his proper title, spitting in his face, basically, calling into question his basic integrity as a man. And uh, he feels absolutely entitled to do all of that because Thomas has betrayed him by not being a Marxist ghoul. Now, you know that uh, I'm not one to do the whole uh, Dems are the real racist bit. You know, that's not my... That's not my thing. You know how I feel about that generally. But in this case, you really just can't help but notice that John Oliver literally treats the guy like an escaped slave. 